back to Shell's Glam Home. Well today guys I'm excited to share another DIY project and this time I'm using Kmart products to create my very own DIY Mackenzie Charles teapot. I hope you enjoy. So I did my research guys in trying to find the best kettle that I could make over. Now of course I checked out my local thrift stores but I had no luck there. So I started going online and I seen that Kmart had this enamel kettle that is in their camping section for just $12. If you are a Mackenzie Childs fan, she has a very similar teapot to this. So I loved that it was a very similar shape. Now after taking it out of the box, my plan is to spray paint it white. I did pick up some other supplies from Kmart as well. Some brushes and some pencils along with some paint. And I was going to use this navy paint here, but you'll see that I actually changed my mind. After taking it outside, I then sprayed it with two coats of white spray paint. Now while that was drying, I had this little dollar store bird as well as the handle from the kettle and I'm going to spray them in two coats of gold spray paint. So once I've brought this kettle inside, it's now time to draw on the graph. So I'm going to take one of those lead pencils and we're going to start guys at the base of the handle. And what you're going to do is start just freehanding a line down the centre. So what you're going to do is you're going to continue to add those lines all the way around the kettle. Now what I did as a measure of thumb, I just used my thumb in between to give me a guide on how far apart I wanted the checks to be. So it doesn't have to be perfect guys by no means. This is why we use the lead pencil first of all and then you can go in and you can do corrections if you need to. So now we're going to go around the kettle and I'm going to use that little lip at the bottom of the kettle as a guide and I'm going to trace around.
I'm then going to use the spout as a guide for the additional lines. So just starting from the top of the spout here, I'm going to draw right round. Now you see here I'm pointing at the top of the handle here. This is my last, I'm using that as a guide. It's the last piece that I'm doing at the very top of the kettle. Now like I said, this does not have to be perfect. This is just a guide at how big that you want your checks to be. So that's entirely up to you, but I was quite happy with how this was coming. So remember the paint pack that I picked up and I said I was going to use this lovely navy blue colour from Kmart. Well guys, after putting it on the kettle, I sort of wasn't happy with the result of the coverage. It just seemed to be too weak for me. I didn't get a nice even coverage. So I actually went in and changed my mind. Now I had some paint here at home called Enterprise by Julux. It's a beautiful navy and I decided to go ahead and use that instead and the coverage was so much better. So after painting every check, you're then going to go in with a small tipped brush and this is where I'm just tidying up everything guys. Just go over it, go around each check and it tidies everything up. You're looking at me so cold, get over yourself, are you for real? Now you'll notice here that I have plastic gloves on and the reason for that guys is I had acrylic nails put back on and I just got home from the nail salon when I was doing this part of the project so I wanted to make sure that I definitely didn't get paint on my brand new nails. Now on the lid, all I wanted to do here was create some diamond shapes all around the lid. So I'm starting first of all with a freehand diamond here and then I'm going to paint the inside. Now again guys, it certainly does not have to be perfect. This is what I love about these types of DIYs. You can always correct your mistakes. You can go in, you can take off, you can replace. So just bear that in mind when you're doing it. It can be a little frustrating if you don't get the pattern right, but just keep coming back to it. Now I'm going to take the Kmart gold paint and I'm going to use that for the very base of the kettle around the bottom as well as making shapes around the diamond. So I just went with the gold outlining the diamond shapes. Now 
Now remember that little dollar store gold bird? I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue here and glue him to the top of the lid. Here I'm just tidying up the overflow from the glue and I love this sweet little bird so much. So the next step now is taking this brush. Now it looks like a little bit of a fan guys. Off camera I dab it in some white paint and then I dry it off. And what I'm going to do is go around each check and just do a little dry brushing on each of the checks. So I'm then going to take some of that gold paint again and I'm going to dip my brush in some water and what I'm going to do is do a shading effect here with the gold paint just randomly on some of the checks. Now you'll see here guys that you just dip your paint on say the left hand side of the brush and the right hand side will still have that wet look about it. So as you go along the top of each check you'll see that you'll get that shaded look. Now it's just purely trial and error here guys so you can see that I'm dabbing little bits of paint any excess paint that I feel like it's too heavy I'm just dabbing it onto a napkin so just bear that in mind practice a little bit if you're not feeling confident but just practice on some paper and then attempt it on your project everything can always be changed have been folded once or twice it doesn't look the same no more cause the sun has made it pale I used to have it hanging on my wall some time ago a picture of you Once I was finished and happy with the result, I then took the kettle outside and gave it two coats of matte finish varnish. And guys, here is my Mackenzie Charles DIY kettle. I'm so happy with how it came. Would you believe this cost me under $20 to create the DIY Mackenzie Childs inspired kettle. Now guys, I truly love Mackenzie Childs, but unfortunately it is way too expensive to ship here to Australia. So I wanted to give you some tips and tricks on how you can have that same look for less than $20.
So thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've enjoyed the video. Now I was going to upload a vintage glam living room makeover guys but unfortunately I lost a little bit of footage so I had to start again. So I will be sharing that video with you next week. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I'll be back real soon with more DIY projects, inspirational ideas and home tours here at Shell's Glam Home. So until next time my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. The look you had upon your face when I said goodbye.